Ever heard of Boltzmann brains? It's a pretty interesting idea in physics with the potential to make you slightly question everything you think you know about reality. Let me start with a rather grim long quote from an article published on the University of Edinburgh website under the Higgs Center for Theoretical Physics. <clears throat> it reads something like, You're not real. Look around you. What do you see? Your computer? A desk? Maybe you see a loved one, a family member, or a close friend. Think about the last time you did something with that person. Maybe you went to the shops, or the cinema, or out for dinner. I will bet you you had a good time. That's a happy memory. Now, what if I told you that none of that is real? It never happened. You don't exist. They don't exist. Your desk, your computer, they don't exist either. You are a mere statistical fluctuation in a cold, dark, and ending space-time. You are a boatsman brain. Arguably off-putting if you ask me, but let's explain it pretty simply. Imagine you're in a vast desert, right? And you start randomly digging holes. Most of the times you would just find sand. But imagine if, once in a million tries, you unearthed a perfectly formed sculpture. This rare and random discovery is similar to what a Boltzmann brain is. The idea comes from Ludwig Boltzmann, a 19th century physicist who played around with the concepts of entropy and chaos. He pondered how, in a universe full of randomness, you might occasionally get little pockets of order. These random blips could, in theory, create anything, even a fully formed brain with thoughts and memories. The idea of a Boltzmann brain emerges from two observations. First, that every extreme unlikely event happens if you wait long enough. And second, any mechanism which produced the universe must be capable of producing a human observer since, clearly, we exist. But the reason why it gets a little interesting is, normally... We think of our universe as having evolved over billions of years, with stars, planets, and eventually life forming in a natural process. But Boltzmann brain suggests that it might actually be more likely for a single brain to randomly pop into existence than for the entire universe to evolve in such an orderly way. This idea is strange because it makes you think, if it's more likely for random brains to appear, how do we know we are not just one of those Bolt Boltzmann brains? Maybe... Everything we remember and experience is just a figment of that random fluctuation. <laughs> Creepy, right? Boltzmann brains are a fun and slightly unsettling way to explore big questions about reality and our place in the universe. While it's mostly a theoretical and philosophical concept, it highlights the wild possibilities that come into play when we think about the universe on a grand scale. So next time you are pondering the nature of existence, remember, in an infinite universe, even the strangest things are possible. And who knows? Maybe we are just Boltzmann brains too. I mean, the concept is often considered a reductio ad absurdum, indicating a potential flaw in our understanding of the universe's evolution. To circumvent the issue of Boltzmann brains, the universe would need a finite lifespan, preventing the occurrence of such low probability fluctuations. Unfortunately, our most advanced theories do not predict such an ending for the universe. Thus, there remains a slim possibility that you might not be real. But don't worry, whether you're not or you are, life's pretty fascinating. Regardless, 